This scripture reminds us of all kinds of athletic competitions. Of course, there's tennis. It has a sort of a fuzzy, bouncy ball. And they use words like love, doubles, fault, in, out, net, all kinds of words. But you have to learn the rules and understand that. Ping pong, on the other hand, has some fast action, but you don't have to run as, as far. But you have to have quick reactions because it's coming so fast and it's so small coming at you. And then there's golf. Golf is really known for people who break the rules. The ones that go off in the woods, hit it four or five times, come back and say, oh, that was a good shot, bounced off a tree and here we are. Known for fudging just a little bit. All kinds of jokes are made about that. But in life, uh, it comes back to uh, tell on us if we do that. Now in softball, you can see from this one, it's roughed up a little bit. And you take one look at it and it's like, wow, it's scarred and beat up. And it reminds us that in life sometimes we're like that, but we can still play the game even when we get roughed up like that. Now, on the other hand, uh, softball's a little different when there's a brand new softball. It's ready for a new game. And our lives are reminded by that each day is a brand new day. So when we wake up in the morning, let's get ready with a brand new idea and a grand, brand new attitude ready for a new day, a new game of life each day. Now, baseballs, on the other hand, are a different size and they're different rules. And we have to get to know how to play that game just like the others. And, and just in the same way in life, uh, there are different rules each day, but they all go back to some uniform rules that come from God and they play out in the end because each one of us are different, but God has an overarching set of rules. Now, football here is a bit deflated. There are all kinds of rumors going around about even in the pros, there's a little cheating going on, not playing by the rules, finding all kinds of ways to find out what the other team's doing and even maybe deflating the ball just slightly for an advantage. Who knows what's right and wrong there, but we know in the scriptures what's right and wrong. Now the soccer ball is sort of the symbol for the worldwide game. No matter what country it is, third world countries, the soccer ball is played by all, and so many people around the world watch the World Cup. It's huge, and it reminds us that in the game of life, we're all included, and there's a uh, a commonality that we have by being in the game of life together. Now, in baseball, I love baseball. I still do like to watch it, but this glove reminds us that it's shiny and new, and you think, wow, this is great, but it's not broken in yet. It takes some use, some uh, tempering, some mellowing out to get broken in so it will play much better. It becomes more part of your body. Now, in baseball, there are different positions like the catcher. And this one obviously uh, is worn and experienced uh, with time. But God needs each of us to fill our position in life. He has a different role for each one of us to play each day. And it's important that we step up to the plate and step onto the field and be the people that we're created to be. Now, this next glove is my glove. It was with me for years in many ball games throughout life, and it is uh, uh, worn, but it is perfect because it's mine. I made it mine and took it to be mine personally. And so that reminds us that in life, we need to make our faith our own, not grandpa's or grandma's, but make it a personal experience. Also, we can trust God every day to be there for us, but we must learn to play by the rules which are following his rules for our own life. God bless you. Go back into the game of life. Have a great day. Make it a great day because, you know, it's the only inning we have is today.